In this video, I'm going to show you how to create lower thirds on your live stream using an ATEM switcher. Hello, I'm Stephen Ballast. Welcome to my channel where I explore worship technology solutions. A pretty common thing that people want to do when they start live streaming is to put lyrics or other things like names or titles overlaid on their video. It's actually really easy to do with any Blackmagic ATEM switcher if you understand how the switcher operates to create the overlay. What the switcher does is use one or possibly two of the inputs that you have connected to the switcher and uses them to generate the overlay on top of what's on the program output. You just have to configure it properly so the switcher knows what part of the image is to be transparent and what is your content. There are two methods for getting the overlay content into your switcher. The first is the cheapest and simplest to set up, but it has a few drawbacks, and that is through Luma or Chroma Keying. Luma Keying takes any pixel that is above or below a brightness value and turns it transparent. So you could have white text on a black background and make anything black transparent. Chroma Keying is when you specify a particular color and the switcher makes anything that color transparent, your typical green screen kind of key, but it's actually a lot more finicky than Luma Keying in this case, so I usually stick to Luma Keying. The advantage of these two kinds of keying is that just about any presentation or lyrics projection software can output white text on a black background, and it only requires that one input to your switcher. You really could do this from PowerPoint if you wanted to. All it takes is an HDMI output from your computer running your projection software into your ATEM. Specify that input as your key and you're set. In this example, I have my overlay source on input 1 and two cameras on input 2 and 3. To configure Luma keying, I'd go to Upstream Key, and in the Luma tab, select my Overlay Source for both the Fill and Key Source. Then, when I turn on the key, anything black is now transparent and being overlaid on my video. You can fade in with your key by starting with it off-air, selecting Key 1 here, and then transitioning. And then simply turn off the key when you don't want it anymore. On a side note, a lot of people struggle to get a computer or graphics card output working into an ATEM switcher. That's because the ATEM switchers are very particular about all of its inputs being the exact same video standard. The problem is that graphics cards, for whatever reason, have a hard time outputting these exact video standards. What I like to do that takes all of the fiddling and guesswork out of messing with your graphics card settings, and hoping the next time you reboot it doesn't revert back to some other setting, is to use a format converter. I started using the Data Video DAC70, but since then some more have come on the market that are a little cheaper like the Decimator. What they do is let you specify what video standard you want it to output, and it will convert anything you give it on the input to that format. So it guarantees that any computer is going to work as an input to your ATEM switcher. There is a disadvantage to Luma or Chroma Keying, and that is you're kind of limited in what kind of content you can overlay. You can't do shadows that have transparency, or if you're doing Luma Keying, you can't use black in your content or it's going to be transparent. So if you really want to take your keying to another level, you can use what's called linear keying. This method takes two input signals to your switcher, a key and a fill signal. The fill is what will be shown or overlaid, and the key signal contains a gradient where solid white specifies where your content will be, and solid black is completely transparent. And any other gradient value in between black and white specifies an amount of transparency. This will allow you to create a much softer looking overlay or use more complex graphics. There are two worship presentation programs that I know of that offer these capabilities as an add-on purchase to generate these two signals. They use an SDI card in your computer, like the Blackmagic Decklink cards. On a PC, there is Songshow Plus, and on a Mac, ProPresenter. To set up your linear key, you would select Downstream Keys, and select your Fill and Key Source. Then you tell it that you have a real key and fill source by selecting Pre-Multiplied. So those are the two methods for overlaying graphics and lyrics on your streaming video. It's pretty easy once you understand how the switcher works. Hey, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.